Hey guys, what's up? I'm back today and um, I never do videos on Saturdays. It's just this week was so short and like I said, we we're like swamped with orders for Memorial Day. Thank you guys so much. And if you caught my um, Insta story about that, then you're already caught up. Um, okay, so I did not have time to do a video this week. So I'm doing one on Saturday, which is really different for me. I'm like, what? I don't even know what fucking day it is anyway. But, um, so I kind of like have some housekeeping to do before. Actually, let me tell you, this video is like, is so requested, like house tour, house tour. But you guys know how I feel about house tour videos. Like you guys know for, with me, with my house, I'm just so, if you, if you know it, you know it. Like if you don't, then you don't like, like figure it out yourself. Don't just copy my vibe get your own vibe like that's how i feel about things and like a lot of you guys understand me like i don't okay i'll get into it later but so i've had ever since i did my new living room it's like kind of finished i've been kind of like okay i just want to like share some things um so i'm gonna do like my bar cart even though i have like a really love-hate relationship with bar carts like i feel like they are so try hard like every fucking one has a bar cart now it's not cool anymore like 95% of bar cart styling, it makes me like literally gag. It is so like, okay, I don't wanna say it. It's just like basic bitch. Okay, I have no problem with her, but like Tory Burch vibe. Like, I don't even know what it is. Like, what's that? Like, I don't like that like chevron print. I don't feel every, I don't know. Okay, I need to stop because like, if you know, you know, all right? All right, so um, anyway. Okay, but before I start, I just wanna like, um, just readdress the fact that if you're gonna come and if you're going to attack me, I am not gonna be the typical influencer who just like takes it, doesn't like, you know, and then will stop talking about something they don't wanna talk about or will apologize and like take the video down and do like an apology video. Never will I do that ever, okay? Like, shut the fuck up, bitch. Who the fuck are you? Is this communist China? Absolutely fucking not, okay? Like, I won't ever do it. These people are insane. So you, uh, apparently that video I did of me not wanting to wear a mask indoors uh, is like triggering these moronic, stupid, sheep people. The kind who like sleep in masks, the kind who like go to the toilet in a mask, the kind who you see driving alone in a car in a mask, the kind you see running with a mask on, like legitimately numb skulls, like people who are brainless. It's sad. Okay. Anyway, and by the way, just a little update for you guys, everyone, because you love the who, WHO, so much, right? You love them so much. Didn't you guys hear? They just said that masks don't work. Like, I was right again. Okay. So fucking annoying. Like, it's like, whatever is like the new, whatever is like, in like every 10 minutes, like, like a new, like, development happens. And then everyone's like, oh my god, okay. Like, it's so annoying. I... Like we have been, you, they have cooped us up in our house based on false information. And if you guys want to obey that, and if you guys want to be so stupid and let them take your lives away, then you can do it, but leave me the fuck alone. And if you're going to come for me, okay? If you're going to come for me, if you're gonna attack me, my looks, my line, my life, my family, if you're gonna do that, and if you're going to have, bitch, bitch, if you're gonna have yellow teeth like a rat, I am not fucking joking you, man. Like, okay, these people, I am not kidding you. And they're so mad that I'm, they're so mad that I'm seeing the obvious. Like, my walls are white. Um, My shirt is black. My jewelry is gold. This is, these are obvious facts. Like, I'm not allowed to state an obvious fact that a bitch coming after me has a yellow rat teeth. Like, get a toothbrush. That is too much for me to say. No, it's not. Especially when she sat there, wrote, I don't know how many comments, Tell me how disgusting I am, retarded, stupid, low life. I want to cough on you so you die because they think that like, you know, all the, if they, you know, the whole thing. Okay. So no bitch, like I'm not going to let it go. I'm not. And this is the thing. Like, please, please, please. I promise you. Oh my God. Like you can call me ugly as much as you want. I'm not ugly. I don't care. You can call me fat. I don't care. Like I swear. Like, I, it's so stupid. Like I'm so numb to it. Like anyone out there influenced whatever, we're probably so fucking numb to it. But bitch. If you're gonna come after me, please, for the love of God, don't look like that. I'm not kidding. Like, it's too easy. Oh my God. Like, the people, and I'm not gonna stop. Like, I'm not gonna back down. If you're gonna come for me, I don't care. Like, okay, for real, I don't care. These people are, they are look like, they all look like they, it's like this certain look they all have to them. I don't wanna get into like, it's not like, 
about politics. It's not about anything like that. But they are all like, I don't want to even say it because I, I read their bio. Like I will look at when I'm blocking them, I'll look at their bio and it's always like, they all have like the same thought process, okay? They're like these young, just out of like college, do nothings, okay? With legitimately like the most useless major ever. They're never going to amount to anything. Like, it's just that's, that's what they are, okay? They're also like angry, like so angry. I've never seen such hateful anger. It's like the people, and I'm just gonna say it, and it's not a political thing. I just think that these people who don't, who, it's like they, a lot of them had this other profile. That's why I'm saying it. It's like the people who are like, orange man bad, orange man bad. Like, I get it. Not everyone likes Trump. I, I'm not saying anything. Like, not everyone likes Trump. Not everyone likes Obama. Like, everyone likes different people. Okay, that's what I mean. But it's like that. It's like they talk like that. It's like, <clears throat> orange man bad, orange man bad. Like, it's those kind of people that are coming after me. I'm like, oh my God, like, it's a fucking weirdest ass breed. I, I don't know. I'm 35 years old. So when I went to college, like, it was not, like, I, I didn't, it wasn't that, it wasn't like that. But now I'm hearing from a lot of you guys out there that, like, college campuses are, like, really fucking weird. And I don't know because, like I told you, I'm 35. I have not been to college in X amount of years. I don't know. But it's like that kind of like, those kind of like group. And I don't know what that is. It's just like, are they like communists? I, I don't know, okay? I really don't know. But that's what I would like I think they are because that's what, it was like, that's what they wrote like on their bio. It was like, like that. And that's how they speak too. It's, it was like, it's bizarre, man. But the worst part is they think, they live in this world where they think they can come for me and they can tell me I'm ugly and every, everything and I can't say anything back. And they are coming for me about it. And bitch, just stop, like, please. And a lot of the people who have open profiles, they just don't think that they like, they just don't get it. Like, oh, it's like so bad. I could have posted hundreds more pictures of people, but I just like, I don't want my Insta stories to like be hideous. You know what I mean? So I don't want to do that. It's like stupid. So I don't know. Like, I don't know if I do that. I don't know, whatever. So either way, I'm just saying, I don't live in a world where you can come and attack me and everything about me, everything that I've worked hard for and done and love, um, and not expect a retaliation. And you can go cry about it and tell me I'm the bully. I don't even fucking know you from Adam, bitch. And you're going to come to me and my page and you're going to, fucking abuse the fuck out of me, tell me to die, you're gonna cough on me, like, you're, you have a botched face, get a new plastic surgeon, like, and by the way, like, thank you for telling me, by the way, that you think I have plastic surgery, because I have never had plastic surgery in my, surgery to my face, so, actually, that's probably a really good compliment, and you're so dumb, you just don't even realize that, alright, I'm gonna stand there, because I'm just, I'm floored by the fact that these people are painting me out to be the bully when I don't even know them. They've come on my page and have tried to destroy me. And I state the obvious. Like, I state the obvious. Like, I, I'm sorry, I didn't say anything. Like, I just post a picture. Like, you do it to yourself. And a lot of influencers, like, this is the thing. Influencers out there are fucking pussies, man, okay? They have not put anyone in their goddamn place once in their life because they're afraid of losing a follower. I'm not afraid of losing a follower, okay? Stick up for your damn self. Don't let them come for you, okay? I won't let them come for me. I will fucking keep doing whatever. I will not remove the video. Take down the video. Take down the video. Like, wear a mask. Wear a mask. The more you tell me to do something, the less I will fucking do it. I've always been like that. Fuck off. You're fucking with the wrong bitch. Please don't post. Please don't post me stupid on my page. Please don't post me stupid on my page and have a photo like that. Just don't, okay? All right. Now, <laughs> I just wanted to get that out of the way because... Mostly because Insta, Insta stories, they only allow you to have four slides at a time. And then every time I got to like push whatever to accept the four stories, I have to go back and remember where I left off. And then we know I'm not good at that. All right. Anyway, here we go. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is my bar cart. And I have always loved like the idea of a bar cart ever since it just became like mainstream and people have fucked it up. Okay, basic bitches out there, if you're gonna get mad at me, I don't care, I'm helping you out here, whatever. Lipstick fables, you told me that I should, <laughs> if you're watching this, this is the problem. I cannot do what you asked me to do because 
they are going to like, they'll be so offended if I tell them that I don't like something. I get it. Like, I don't, that bitch, but they're asking for my opinion. But like, I'm not, I don't sugarcoat things. You know what I mean? I'm not like, like, you know what I mean? So I don't like, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm always, anyway. Okay. Hi. All right. Um, so bar cart. Okay. I don't like the idea of a bar cart anymore. I don't like it. I don't like the, tra the traditional, the way that things are done now. Like the way a bar cart was like, in, I think it was invented in like the sixties. I'm thinking like, I feel like it's very sixties. I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, when they had like, like martinis and like mixed different spirits and things like that. Um, it's just today the way bar carts, you see them all over Instagram, you see them like all over like Pinterest. They're like so cringy. You guys know what I mean, right? It's like a typical basic bitch. They put like, it's like what I did and when I first did my bar cart like eight years ago, when I first started, like had my first bar cart, it looks like that, but they're still doing that today. Like they have not evolved, bitch. Like they have not evolved. Like, no, okay. Um, that's the thing. So anyway, I think a bar cart should be more of like, like a moment, like a little vibe, a corner vibe of what you're currently doing in your life. Like whether it's a coffee bar, whether it's a martini bar, whether it's like a diet Coke bar, um, whether it's a water fucking bar, like, you know, you can do things other than make it just this where you put all this like champagne, like just a typical bitch, you know, you never even fucking touch that bar cart. It just becomes like a dust collector. I hate it. Like my bar cart is a living, breathing, constantly evolving situation. Okay. Why can't you see my fucking necklaces of this shirt on bitch? Fucking Alexander Wang. It's too high. It's like this. Um, okay. So let me just, okay. Also bar carts. <clears throat> Sorry. Also, it, it could be the fact that I have a very small house and a lot, my house is full of windows, right? So there's not a lot of places to put anything against a wall. I have very, very few walls anyway. Um, so the pieces that I have like need to be a, pretty multifunctional. Anyway, I don't like a typical bar cart. The ones that like, it looks like a little buggy. I think they are outdated. And I think that if you have a big house, It'd be nice if you had one like in the living room, but if you have an apartment or a condo or like a small house, like I do, um, don't, I mean, I don't know. The bar cart is done. It's tired. Like we're done with it, but I do the cutest thing in the world. We all know my bar cart. Okay. But just, you know, in case anyone, everyone's blocked out there on Instagram, um, I got this, it's actually like a side table, a side. It's like, I don't know. It looks like it's two bedroom for a side, like an end table for a bedroom. It's, it looks like it's too big. It might be, I don't know, but I will show you. It's vintage. I got it from like some vintage online thing and it was really inexpensive. It was like a couple hundred dollars and it looks really expensive. The mirror behind it is from a thrift store and I have my cartel lamp on it, which to be honest, you guys, I'm a little over the bougie cartel lamps. And by the way, I'm dro name dropping a lot right now. So take your fucking notes and don't ask me another question about where I'm getting shit because I'm like dropping names for you guys. Usually I don't do that. Um, let me try this. And, um, so I'm not, I'm kind of getting over them. Like the only one I love is the, my multicolor rainbow one. I love that one, but I have an all, you'll see, I have a cream one here with gold lining and it matches my bar cart perfectly. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to show you some things. I'm going to sit there and style it with you a little bit and go through everything. My bar cart, it's supposed to be weird. It's supposed to be like, like living and breathing. Okay. It's supposed to be something that you use. Like you could even make it like um, I, I don't even know. You can make it like a, the coolest little catch all with some, with some like alcohol in it too. Make it a moment. Like if you've got a little Chanel, like if you've got like, you know, a little shopping Chanel tote you get like, or the bag from like the store, you could even use that as a decoration. Like use, I'm going to show you guys, use things that are not normal. Don't just go buy shit from the fucking store. Like use some, like, use some of your imagination. Be a little bit more eclectic. Be a little bit more worldly. Think outside of the box. Like when you're, I love, sh I, I talk too much right now. I'm sorry. Okay. Should I, sh should I show you stuff? I, I wish you guys could like tell me what to do right now. Like what are we doing? Are you going to show you stuff? I'm going to go sit by the bar. I'm going to sit by the bar and I'm going to show you stuff. Okay. All right. I don't even, okay. Let me just reset you. I know this is so weird the way I'm showing this to you right now, but the camera is weird and I don't know how to show it to you. So this, I have it here. It's just a large vase. I got it from Ikea a long time ago and I have it here to be honest because I hate that plug and I have nowhere else to put it, so I just don't think it looks that bad there, okay? This is the 
thing I was talking about. And um, it's a little bit like warped. I don't know. There's a gold bottom and it's cream. I love this color cream. I don't love, love, love white. Okay, it's a little bit too refrigerator, all right? So then I'm gonna pan you up a little bit more. It's, okay, so I just shit, I've put shit here right now because I was gonna talk to you guys about everything. My, also my bar cart kind of like, if you don't like keep it up, it becomes like a, a shithole, okay? So I just put these here because I want to remember to tell you guys about stuff, okay? Then that is my cartel lamp. And I, okay, and then flowers and the mirror. Okay, and it's a very 70s, 80s, whatever mix. It's fucking sick. I love it. All right, now let me back you up again. Oh my God, I look so stupid. This, like, I look stupid, I know. Okay, I'm doing this for you guys, okay? Because it's fucking important. All right, so here we go. Um, oh my God, I'm actually really excited. I'm actually really fucking excited because this is a fucking lesson, okay, you guys? Like, class is in session for this. I don't want to see boring bar carts. I don't want to see a bar cart. If you have a bar cart that you like, put it, if you have a big house, Put it where like you don't see it right away. I don't like it. Okay, that's annoying. Don't worry, it's like fucking beeping everywhere. Stopped a little bit. It's fading. All right. So um, let me just kind of go through some th things I have. Just to, so let me show you the way it was actually before I kind of fucked it up with things that um, um, with things that you know I was going to show you. Okay, this is kind of like how it was. The problem is that my housekeeper comes and like ruins it. And I say, Snabby, shut up. I can't have a fucking housekeeper now. Shut the fuck up. Okay, so a housekeeper comes and like when she doesn't like put it back exactly the way I had it, so it looks like a fucking mark. Okay, um, so this is a mess and like I don't love it, but I was just going for like, this was like very three months ago. And I like to redo it at least every couple months, okay? So let me just go through it. These are. I'm so picky about glasses. Okay, I'm so picky about everything. These are Alessi, okay? They are really, oh, this is like not clean, like this one. Oh, look dusty, okay. So this one, it's very thin and very shallow. It's like, the, it's a vibe. It is so, I love to drink my co like a coffee, um, espresso with ice in this. It's just the cutest, most shallow cup, okay? And it's just nothing to it but it's unusual and it's very thin, which I like, okay? So everyone thought that these were Hermes cups. That's the point, okay? But they are not. I just put a box below because I just thought it gave it more. And like to, um, that's pretty there too. Just to like, to layer things is really important. Like it really works to layer things, okay? This was just an empty Hermes box from one of my plates, which I will show you. I'm gonna be doing my bar cart and a little bit of coffee table. Just, I wanna show you guys the living room a little bit because I know you're dying to see it. Okay, so that's that. And then, um, this is, okay, these were my olives. And my, I, okay, so I actually don't drink at home. I like to go out to drink. I don't like to drink. I'll have like a glass of wine, maybe. Um, I, I don't drink at home, I wanna go out. So this was from quarantine. So we couldn't go out, so we were making martinis at home. Um, so this is very unusual. Like, I'm not, I don't know. Like, what am I gonna drink at home for? Like, no, go out. So this, oh, I drank a lot of vodka. <laughs> it's like half, half empty, I'm surprised. All right, um, then this is my Perrier Jouet, which I actually don't even like champagne. I haven't listened this weekend, I don't like champagne. This, I love it too. Um, it's, a, I love anything with these ridges. I love ridges. I love um, lines, straight lines and bars. I don't like, um, I don't like Chevron. I hate Chevron. And that I, Chevron to me is like the ugliest shit I've ever seen in my life. Like whoever invented Chevron, like there's something wrong with you. Like, I don't know why what you're thinking of Chevron. Like if, if the most basic person in the world has Chevron in their house, like I know everyone, right? Constantly offending everyone. All right. Um, this I bought from a thrift store, you know, flea market. And like I was gonna tell you guys is, you guys, I promise you stop. Like stop right now. Please thrift, please be more worldly. Please go to flea markets, estate sales, think out of the box when you're like, I, I, when I go through all shit, like, go like if your grandmother has old shit, like that is so cool, man. Like it's one in like, you don't, you can't get that anymore. Like 
anything with like regular is just stupid. All right, like it just everyone if everyone can get it, it's stupid. That's that's honest. Like I mean, a lot of people can get things here, but it's like not super obvious. Okay. All right, so just for the sake of time, I'm gonna leave these behind here because I know where to put them right now. That's just like cheap alcohol. I don't. I think they were just like birthday gifts. I, I don't even know what to do with them. This I had plans for until I lost my weight. That's when I was just like eating and drinking whatever the fuck I wanted, but we don't do that anymore. Same with the Aperol spritz. I was making my fat ass Aperol spritzes at home, like not even caring. Okay, you fucking cow, man. So um, this. I don't even like really rosé. I don't. I don't even know why I have this here. Okay. These are from my backyard and the, these plants. I, I I really think they were they are older than me. Like these plants that are in my backyard because this house is very old and I can tell like the bush it comes from is like a very large bush. And I love these. These I think they're... I only know like in Greek we call them bapia. Like I don't know what they're called in English. But I want to show you guys how large this is. Like they are huge. Like this is a beautiful flower. It is so my vibe. It's weird. Like I love the way it's just like there's two like that. I just love it. This I love. It's a pitcher, a lucite pitcher with mirror on it, and um, it's like a triangle. I got this. I got this at this really overpriced like vintage home store, but they're having like a thirty percent off sale or something. I paid more than I wanted to, but I love it. I love it. It's cute and like kind of goes, right? Okay. All my cigars. Um, I haven't had a cigar in a while. I should have a cigar. I will. Okay. So, oh my God, I think my cigar lounge is like open again. <laughs> I cannot wait. Um, my feet hurt. Fuck. Ow. Okay. So this is the thing with cigars. Uh, this is not what I like. I just, I don't have like a humidor or whatever for them. I get them as gifts and like, I just put them here. So these glasses, you guys love them. I got them at Kelly Wurstler, but I don't think they are by, by her. I love them so much. And I'm just gonna leave those there, just for also for the sake of time. I might just like not really do this with you guys. Um, all right, let me show you some other things. Some inspo stuff for you, all right? So, um, like for example, this, I went to Sunset Tower Hotel for the weekend and I bought this from the gift shop. It's just their ashtray, it says Sunset Tower Hotel. It is, such a motherfucking vibe, okay? Let me show you. When I go to hotels, you guys, I clean the fuck up with vibe stuff. I I know I'm going to an expensive hotel. I will not leave there without making sure to get like notepads, napkins. Like I will buy what they have like if it's cute, okay? Let me show you some examples. Look, look at the coasters. These coasters were in the hotel room. Like such a cute fucking vibe, okay? Please, if you go to a nice hotel, if you go abroad, get some shit, okay? Get some worldly shit so, it, so you can create like a cool vibe corner, a moment for yourself, okay? Matchbooks, like, let me show you, all right? I'm like, I'm really into this shit. Okay, even this, where is it? Okay, like the Sunset Tower water bottle. I saw this in the room, I was like, don't drink it, I'm taking this home, <laughs> like, this is mine. Just like, I wish I could have gotten four, you know what I mean? I had four, and I would have like a little like Sunset Tower hotel bar. You know, it's just like shit. You know, it's cute, okay? Even like Diet Cokes. I know you guys would make fun of me. Like, like whatever. Four cans of Diet Coke, or like these are like a little bit too try hard. I, I don't love it. I don't love the little mini Coke bottles. Like, I feel like, bitch, you know, you like deliberately paid the extra for that just to be cute. It's not cute. Like, I don't know. I think the four Diet Coke cans is such like a statement. Like, four Diet Coke cans. Sip glasses, put your Hermes cups back up. Your Hermes cups, Hermes cups, right? <laughs> okay. Put your Hermes cups back up with four Diet Coke cans. Like, do what you like, bitch. If you like Sprite, make it a vibe. Like, make it your own. It's cool. All right. So, let me show you what else. So let me just show you things I have, like from over the years. Okay, so Sunset Tower, I showed you those coasters, so cute, just so cute. Um, Georgie, this was an old um, coffee, you guys, it shut down in the montage, I don't know why, it was so cute, I loved it, and the coasters were really cute. Okay, that, and then I have Bel Air Hotel ones, Parker Palm Springs, so cute, like, so 60s, such a damn vibe, so cute. Just like 
if I walked in someone's house and they like had that kind of shit on their table, I'd be like, oh my God, like they just get it. Like, it's so cute. Like, oh, they just went to the hotel, like brought it back. Like, I don't know. You guys not, if you don't get, I, I should be able, like we said, to just sit here and show you things and you should know, right? Like I shouldn't have to explain anything. I hate it. I hate speaking. This was an impulse buy in Hawaii. It's just the traditional, it's a traditional quilt like in Hawaii. They quilt there, which is, I think is, they make beautiful fucking quilts. They're not my taste, but I love them. Absolutely love them. I think next time I go, I'm going to get one of those Hawaiian bangles that say your name in Hawaiian on it, like the real gold ones, because like you guys know, I'm obsessed with anything Hawaii. So I got these. Um, they're a little bit not my vibe, but I got them because when I see them, I love them. Shut up. All right. Um, I got the Ritz London little napkins. Okay, I got more Sunset Tower. These are napkins. Chanel from the Chanel store. You know they give you, bitch. They give you, they give you these. On if you like buying shit and they, if like, do you want like water? Take the napkins. It's cute, man. It's cute. Um, then I have more Bel Air Hotel, and I have a ton of the Royal Hawaiian. <laughs> Every time I do my tie, I took, the, I took more of the. <laughs> I took more. Okay, Cafe Kitsune from Paris. And then look at these. Um, <gasps> you're gonna get mad at me, I don't care. <laughs> so cheesy. When I went to the bathroom at Sunset Hotel, I have these in the bathroom. <sighs> Bitch, I took some. They're cute. They're pretty. I love them. They're just like napkins. Whatever. Okay. Um, sorry no one else thought of the idea, all right? I love it. I love that shit. I love that shit. I also have matchbooks, a whole thing of matchbooks, which I love. Um, this is Jonathan Adler. I love this piece so much. It's a vase, but I just keep all of my matchbooks in it. And then this is also from a uh, flea market. It's like depression glass, but black depression glass, which I love this with a Greek key on it. I have Ivy at the Shore, Lulu in here. I have a ton, whatever. It doesn't matter. It fucking matches. Okay. Then I have um, things like this, decanters. And I'm not a huge fan of decanters. This, my, my grandma gave me these. She was like throwing things out. I was like, no, don't throw them out. I'll like use them for what, I don't know what. But decanters, they're really inexpensive. You can find them like vintage glass decanters at thrift stores. I'm sure like your relatives have them laying around the house. They don't use them anymore. I'm sure they would love to give them to you if you showed interest. And that's nice of you. Um, and, Okay, sorry, my phone died, which I use for monitor. Okay, so I'm just going to decorate this. Um, I'm just gonna do this the way I want. Um, kind of just like the way I had it, because I wanna move on to the next thing, but. So these, for example, are also, were also my um, grandma's, and so let me get the Diet Coke out of here, because I'm not doing that. Okay, so. I don't love, love this, but it, you know, kind of like it's just something I like because I have all my cigars here and just choose one when I'm ready. I do like the Sunset Tower, but this one's kind of dirty. I'm going to put it at the bottom, just like that. I already have these four glasses up here, um, so I really don't need these. This was just a single. I just want to show you guys some inspiration. Also these. So um, I like, this is, here, excuse me, I'm getting rid of that. Okay, so this is from, um, just water bottles I think are pretty. And I took the label off, you know. So if you had like pretty water bottles you liked, you could put them there. I just wanted to give you guys some inspo. I'm not gonna do these though, they're gonna go in the fridge. Okay, um, let's see. This is gonna go on my coffee table. I don't typically put, um, these are mail and goats. My friend got me these, sent me these. It smells so good. I don't typically put, um, Candles up here, but I think it's cute. I like that. It's not supposed, like I told you, it's not supposed to be like a bar cart. It's supposed to be like a little curiosity moment, curiosity cart, okay? <laughs> like cart of curiosities. I don't fucking know. Um, then I have this vase, which I got too, which I think is really sick, but it's vintage. I got it at a thrift store and it's it leaks. So I need to figure out what the problem is, but I had this here before, which I think it looks nice, but it's a little bit too crowded. I'm gonna put this back up. I love it. 
I love this so much. I actually do use this. Um, it's a mix, it's a big mixer, and I have my polymer stuff like this in here. Just put it right in the center. Um, I have this decanter too, which I got a long time ago. Also, at a flea market. Um, it's a little bright. Doesn't really go with the orange, so I'm not going to use that. I don't have a flower for this. Do you think it'd be better if I did two vases like that? It's kind of cute. I like things to be weird. I don't like it to be pretty. Like I, I love and I love layering. I'll just look at I think this is kind of nice actually. The filigree on here is pretty, and these are also super thin. Um, and these are like super chunky, so it's just different, very different. Let me turn on the light so you can see. Put the light on, what it looks like, a little mo more moody. What about some napkins? I think we should do some napkins. What are, what's our vibe today? We have sunset up there already, sunset tower. So let's do, what do I have a lot of? I don't want the pink, the Bel Air. Okay, maybe some Bel Air. Something's missing. It's like too crowded. Oh, I think it's fine like that. I think I would just leave it like that. If I redo this, I'll take a picture. You guys know that. Okay, so that's that. Let's move on to one of the most questioned rooms. obvious typical coffee table like what you'd expect on someone else's coffee table is like comfort maybe magazines and coasters which I have coasters um I don't know just comfort like remote controls you know what I mean like drawers it's it's not that and I don't really I'm not I, I don't want that vibe like I want what I think is pretty that makes me happy and comfortable so I want it to look weird I want it to look just like, art like, I don't know, artistic. I don't know, artistic, I don't like that word. Um, anyway, okay, so I'm just gonna show you some things and I brought this over. So I usually have this, let me show you. This is from Overrose, obviously. And um, it's an iridescent candle and I just love the way it looks on the iridescent table. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. But um, I need to get pads on the bottom of it because I have like little coasters, little soft 
posters underneath everything. Well, not right now, I'm going to show you because I don't want it to scoot around and scratch the table because it's a glass table, so glass can scratch. Um, so this I put over there with the lamp, so it, everything ties in, it's like this iridescent here, iridescent there. Um, then I have these plates. These are Hermes, I call them like pill plates, green and white. And then um, they're actually just dishes. Taupe, which is my favorite one, and then the black. And I just have them just laid like this. Just for no rhyme or reason, it just looks really pretty and I like that. Then I have these from Jonathan Adler. They're just coasters, which I do use for coasters. I also have this plate from Hermes and um, I just keep it here. I love it. Um, <laughs> it just doesn't really make sense, but I don't have like, I, I, like where does one keep, what is like a new, like growing up, my mom had like a, a chi like China cabinet, right? But that's not so what people have nowadays. Like, where does someone keep their expensive or nice dishware? Because I have a problem knowing what to do with that. I don't want to put it away in the cabinet because I want to enjoy it. So I have things out. Like, I have Hermes dishes and I have Hermes cups and things like that. And for the cups and saucers, I have them out because I use them every morning and I like to enjoy them. And I don't want a china cabinet. I don't, I don't like, like... I don't know. I don't like knick-knacky things. I like things with a purpose. Like these are knick-knacks, but they serve a purpose too because you can actually use them. I don't know. Okay. Then I have these. Um, this is a candle from Bredo. It's Treehouse and I got it from my aunt. I love this, but it doesn't fucking smell. Like, it smells amazing from here and then you burn it and it doesn't smell. And I, someone else told me that too on my Insta. They're like, does yours not smell? And I was like, oh my God, like when you burn it, it doesn't smell. It's so weird. Okay, then I have that little white, I'm not sure, I'm using the viewfinder right now. Do you see that? It's a lamp. I'm going to scoot. Uh, okay, it's a little like um, USB charged bellhop lamp. I love it. It's not charged right now. I can charge it. And it just looks perfect at the end of the table. And then this I like to put right next to it, right in front. So it's just kind of like a really pretty random like randomness, like the couches aren't normal, the table isn't normal, like the, everything, I have like a birdhouse, you guys saw my birdhouse chair. Hell, I, I, everything is just a little different and that's what I like about my vibe here in this house. It's not like just typical. Yes, it is typical. No, it's not, bitch. Like I just can hear people out there be like, I have that, I've seen it before. Like, bitch, no you haven't, just shut the fuck up. Like stop ruining it, I hate that so much. Like. I, I honestly am on edge the whole time. And he's like, I know, I fucking know people out there are thinking to themselves or trying to be like, I've seen it, I have it, who cares, no big deal. I'm like, then shut up, okay? Because I'm not gonna defend myself, but I know it's not totally fucking just like run of the mill shit, so shut up. Let's see your place. You have a comment about my shit's normal. Let me see your place. Just like, let me see your face, okay? The 360 bitch, that's the rule. Okay guys, so now I'm in my living room and um, before I back up, I just want to kind of show you guys the entire thing and then we'll get into it. I want to show you the couches and how I st style, I hate the word style, like it's how you, how I use my fucking coffee table, it's not that big of a deal. Not that this is so serious, like, how you style it, like shut up, I hate that, okay, but yeah. Um, but before I go, I really do have to do like a front picture, like you know what I mean, so I can like, I don't edit shit, like I need to just like take a picture, like what is that? not cute okay like this like, like welcome to my living room you know what i mean like welcome like how do i do that like no one comes here i don't know how to do that like what are you doing here um like this like is that cute from the, the front i don't know what we'll to see hopefully i get a fucking screenshot from that um okay you guys i hope you guys like do an anti-bar cart, like a vibe cart. Fuck, stop it with the bar carts. I'm sick of it, man. It's not a bar cart, okay? It's not a bar cart. It's not a bar cart. That's fucking, it's not a bar cart. It just depends. Please send me pictures of your anti-bar carts. Like enough with the bar carts. It's fucking tired, it's over. Everyone has a bar cart, I'm sick of it. Look, I'm just done with it, okay? So I can't wait to see what you guys do too, seriously. Like that is such, that should be a new thing. Like it's fucking cute. 
It's that is fucking cute. Like it's a vibe. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope you like this. Like I finally did something like this for you. Can you fucking believe it? I really can't. Okay. Bye.